This video is for that vegan teacher. And uh, if you're not that vegan teacher, um, you consider consider yourself lucky, okay? So today we're gonna be looking at that vegan teacher once again today, and all the content she's been shitting out lately. Cause you know she's in just just stuck in this vegan fantasy of hers. It's just getting too old now. Some point last week you might have seen a uh, a video surfing on the internet of a cat dangling from a stadium, and people actually caught the cat. The cat has no injuries. The cat's totally fine. But somehow that vegan teacher is still mad at the people who saved the cat. Stick till the end of the video to find out the stupid reason she has to hate these people. All right? And uh, while you're at it. Uh, make sure you like this video for your boy. Uh, it, it, it really helps me out. It keeps me motivated. And it's literally like one click. Are you that lazy? Prove me wrong, alright? And also subscribe. That's two clicks. Are, are you that lazy? <laughs> just to let you know, I'm not actually calling you lazy. It's a joke just to be funny, alright? I'm just trying my best to be funny. I'm not really that funny. Please accept my apology. Alright, without further ado, let's get into this video. Hello, students. Did you hear about the cat? I'm not your student, but yeah, I heard about the cat. That was hanging there? That fell down at the stadium? Look at this. Again, this might be very scary to watch, but I just want to, you know, again, the cat is okay. The cat is fine, okay? Just letting you know. Okay. Apparently, the cat had been hanging there for about 20 minutes, according to people. Bro, why are you acting like you're a news reporter? Nobody knows how the cat got in there. Some people said the cat had a collar. It's unclear. Imagine this poor cat, terrified. Cats are normally scared anyway of humans. They don't just walk up to anybody naturally and just be like, hey. <laughs> yeah, what she said right there is actually false. So I went to this place with my friend, you know, to hang out and everything a couple days ago. And this cat, like, I, I, I shit you not, walks up to us and gives us so much attention. The cat let us pet him, pick him up and everything like that. The cat was very chill. Not like a dog with their tails wagging. Usually they're pretty cautious. Imagine how scared this cat was. Now everybody is screaming at the top of their lungs. So multiply that fear. Well, you stupid vegan. Here's the thing. Screaming at something like that is a normal human reaction for some people. What, what do you expect? Do you expect everyone to just stand there and be like, Oh, look at that. There's a cat up there. I mean, uh, uh. Then your entire life is in danger and you're hanging for a long time. So your shoulders must be so sore. And at the end, you're hanging by your claws. And so your fingertips must be excruciatingly and painful. <laughs> Hanging from the upper deck at the Hard Rock Stadium in Miami, it was a stray cat. Drama in the second quarter against Appalachian State was directly above the University of Miami student section. Somebody starts yelling, oh my god, like some grown man yelling, oh my god, is going to really actually help. That's going to do a whole lot, right? Oh my goodness, go vegan, go vegan, help the animals, they're suffering, go vegan. Shut your stupid mouth up. You see, this is the problem with people. Humans suck. They go to these games and they scream, yeah, go, go, go. Nobody gives a shit. Your voice is not going to make the ball go into the net any faster. Maybe if you rub your last two brain cells together, you can realize that you're doing the same exact thing. Thing. Okay, it's the same when you scream at your kids' hockey team, hockey games. They can't even hear you. They're so busy skating. Their 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 skates are, are going on the ice. They're in the moment of having fun, and you you parents are all there. Yeah, go Johnny, go Johnny. Kind of reminds me how you don't hear people telling you to stop posting all this cringe. They don't give a shit, honestly. They don't care. I had two boys in hockey. They're like, Mom, we can't even hear you when you're screaming. So I'm like, okay, I'm not going to scream. I'm just screaming for you because I don't even care who wins. You know, your team wins. The other team wins. Who cares? It's a bunch of kids having fun. Okay. Well, th th think about this. People who go to watch games like baseball, they're having fun, you stupid. This. This is someone's life in danger. It was their job to make the stadium completely silent. Somebody should have been on the microphone saying, silence everyone. Someone's life is in danger. We must save this animal. Be quiet so we can think straight. Well, maybe they were too focused on the game because you know, maybe, I don't know, that's their job. They're supposed to focus on the game, not the people in the audience. Come, use your last two brain cells. <laughs> Look how high that is. Did you see? No, I didn't see. I was focused on the cat struggling for its life. I'm pretty sure you're higher than that. Do you see how high that is? Move a little to your right, said the security officer to fans below, preparing with a flag to try and catch the cat. Here it comes. Imagine how terrified that poor animal is right now. Falling into a crowd of strangers who are screaming at the top of their lungs. The cat falls into the flag 
and bounces off and falls down further onto the cement floor. Listen, lady, they're not precise with everything they do. At least be happy that they caught the cat. You know, the cat, if it bounced off, at least it wasn't falling at the damn speed it was when it hit the flag. Some idiot grabs the cat and puts her way up in the air. Doesn't check to see if she's okay or not. What do you want them to do? Just ignore the cat, don't pick it up, and uh, not, not even try to? Uh, you can't see if it's okay by not picking it up. Come on. Use your vegan brain. Just wants the camera on himself so he can say, Hey, look what I did. I picked a cat up from a cement floor. I'm a fucking hero. Hey, everybody, look at me. I'm a vegan. I tell everyone to be a vegan. I'm better than all of you because you eat me and I'm a vegan. I'm a vegan, guys. I'm a vegan. I make fun of people who died because of their vegan. I don't believe they are. All your freaking health issues are fake. You can all become vegan. Become vegan. Or, you know, you're just bad. Being gay? Oh, no. That's worse than being vegan. Being vegan is awesome. This is humanity for you. If you humans had fallen, if a human had fallen down, do you think that's what he would have done? Okay, a human baby falls down. Would he have done the same thing? Well, there's two, there's, 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 there's a difference here, all right? The, the, the cat fallen into a flag. It, that, the, the, the flag is the reason why it, 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 it still lives today, all right? Use your brain. Now think. If the baby has fallen, there was no flag. If a baby has fallen, it's fucking dead, okay? No one's gonna pick it up. No one's crazy. Unlike you. Yeah! Hold the baby up and fucking shake her neck. Who cares if her arms are coming out of her sockets? Who cares if there's any internal damage from banging onto the flag and then smashing yourself onto a, a cement floor? No, nobody gives a fuck. Like I said, no one is that much of a lunatic to do that to a baby that has fallen. No one's going to pick it up and shake it like it's a damn trophy. Jesus Christ. What else about this guy? Oh no, please don't say anything that's like anti-vegan. How many hot dogs do you think he ate at the- <sighs> Good lord. At the stadium. How many animals did he pay to rape, torture, and murder in the meat, dairy, and egg industries? Did he have cheese on his hot dog? What did he- oh, how many burgers did he have? The- You know, this is the hypocrisy of humans. This is why I hate humans. And this is the kind of reason of why I hate you. Plan worked! The cat survived and a- how do you know that the cat survived? One source I found is actually Daily Dose of Internet on YouTube. Uh, he makes uploads like this and he's like 100% right, like 99% of the time, so just listen to what he has to say. That's the cat. The cat was saved and amazingly didn't get hurt. There you go, there's your answer. What happened to the cat afterwards? The cat ran off, terrified. You don't know if it had a brain injury, internal injuries, you don't know anything. Right, right back at you, buckaroo, you don't know anything either. Proudly held the feline sim- Proudly held the feline- Simba style for every- Simba style, like- Fucking everything is a goddamn Disney movie to you people. Not everything is like a Disney movie. Use your brain here. Again, let me explain something to you. He's holding the cat up just like Simba was in The Lion King. That's why he said it. Not because everyone likes Disney and everyone thinks the world is like a Disney movie, okay? D does that explain your stupid question? Buddy to see. Now the cat tries to get away because he's terrified. She or he is terrified. And this guy's just like, ugh, look at him. He's not even looking to see if the cat's okay. He's just like, is everybody watching me? Well, if we do an enhancement zoom right here, uh, you can't really tell if the guy's looking anywhere. He could be looking straight, but looking at, at the cat with his eyes. Like, like how you, like how you're too <laughs> Cat bites him. Oh no. Cat claws him. Oh no. You're vegan. Who cares? Look at that. His fingers are inside the cat's mouth. Oh, shucks. Oh, yeah, this cat just dropped 50 feet. I'm gonna pick it up and put my hands in its fucking mouth. Yeah, that's totally what's happening. Like you just said, the cat's biting him. Maybe the cat's biting his fingers. Stupid. Too bad. Why the fuck did you pick the cat up in the first place? Would you leave this cat on the floor? Would you? Here's another view. Oh yeah, oh yeah, that guy's screaming like, yay, we saved this animal's life. H excuse me, sir, what's in your stomach right now? I don't know, maybe a good-ass burger. Open your mouth, I'd like to see what's in there. No joke, what would you do if a vegan teacher came up to you and said, open your mouth? 
Yeah, there's a few vegans who go to games once in a while, but you know, honestly, I, I, I don't get along with them. I don't understand them. Who the fuck wants to go to a place and start screaming at a bunch of grown men running back and forth with a ball? Like I don't know. Why do you cheer your kids on when they play ice hockey? They're just hitting a puck into a goal. Explain that. Please explain that. Okay, guys, I I I, I just about had it with this with this vegan. All right, I I. Mm. I'm pretty sure I have the equivalent amount of brain cells that she has right now, so I'm gonna take a break, okay? I'm gonna, like, relax and watch, like, a good movie or something. I just want you to know, uh, go watch another one of my videos, honestly. I made another vegan teacher video a while ago. It's pretty funny. Uh, it's when, uh, you know, she liked PewDiePie, like, oh my god, PewDiePie! Ah! It's just to go watch that with a nice burger, some hot dogs. Yeah, just, just, like, enjoy, alright? But with that said, I will see you guys all in the next video. Good.